And listen what Adolf Hitler said. He said, if you repeat a lie long enough, it will become the truth. Mm. So they knew that the science of the mind is whatever you feed the mind the most is what wins. So what the enemy has been doing is putting the minister out there with all of these labels and repeating the lie over and over again that it can become the truth, even though it's not the truth. So we have Does to it always ever really challenge become that. the truth, though. It, it doesn't become. That's why you see these. Yeah. OK, got you. Got you yeah, got it you. doesn't become the truth. It becomes the perception of truth mm -hmm. and perception of reality for most people is their reality. So we are always, uh, uh, you know, debunking and taking the toxicity out of the environment that the mainstream media and the government uh, has put out about this beloved man. One, one falsehood that they still love to spew is uh, the, the conversation of who killed uh, yep. Brother Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was recently heard on the Joe Budden podcast and Joe Budden asked the question, who killed Malcolm X? And they were pushing the narrative yeah. that it was the nation. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you push back on that? Well, of, of course, this is one of those other recycled lies. Mm -hmm. And if you notice that every time the consciousness of the people raises every 10 or 15 years, they always come back with this recycled lie mm -hmm. that y'all killed Malcolm. And I always tell, tell when I was, well, I watched The Godfather of Harlem too. But I remember on the first episode, it said, events have been fictionalized <laughs> for dramatic effect. Yes, sir. Now, I don't know what everybody else thinks, but but fiction means li we lied about some stuff to make this more exciting. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that disclaimer that they put on The Godfather of Harlem should have been on Betty Ann Coretta. It should also be on the movie Malcolm X made by Spike Lee. And even in the autobiography of Malcolm X, there's missing chapters that the Schomburg Library here in New York, they just bought them. Really? There's over 13 missing chapters of the real autobiography of Malcolm X that was just purchased in, uh, in the Schomburg Library that Alex right Haley now. Wrote? That Alex Haley wrote. Wow. But he excluded them because he didn't want uh, one to, in his words, certain inflammatory speech by, the, by Malcolm to be in there. And the other one is the fact that what he put in the book exonerated the nation of Islam. So Manning Marble said that whenever the attorney in Memphis that used to own these uh, files before he sold them, when he met with the attorney, the attorney gave him 15 minutes alone with the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And when he looked at the paperwork, he left and said, I know for sure that the nation did not kill Malcolm X. Uh, we, what we've been given, every time our black leaders are portrayed by Hollywood, we've been given the authorized King James Version that has been diligently compared and revised from translations and former translations. We've never been given the real truth about none of them, including uh, uh, Malcolm X. So that, uh, you know, that the show did kind of allude to and push people mm -hmm. back toward that. And and of course, we, we know why they're doing it, but we are defending it. Uh, and and it's, not, it's not an actual fact. Malcolm X was not killed by the FOI. Malcolm X was killed by the F. B.I. Ooh, that's who killed Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. Let's, I know because I've, I, you know, I've heard I've heard Brother Malcolm's daughter say the same thing that the nation didn't kill didn't him. Didn't do it. Um, that's right. Uh, I lost my train of thought. But oh, also Brother Malcolm said that I know what I was part of the NOI. I know what they're capable. I know what they're of. capable of doing. Yeah. See, see, when when Malcolm X was in Mecca, he was being followed by the CIA, not the FOI. Mm -hmm. Whenever Malcolm tried to land his plane in France. The French government told him that he could not get off the plane because they didn't want him assassinated on French soil. Do you think we was able to call over there and tell the French president, don't let Malcolm off the plane? Mm. Do you know on, Jan on January 4th, 1957, they started the wiretap of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and put him under 24 hour surveillance. Well, if Malcolm X was killed February 21st, 1965, they had an eight year run of monitoring the most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 24 hours a day. Where's the footage or the record showing that he had something to do with the assassination mm -hmm. of Malcolm X? Mm -hmm. And 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 every time they talk about Malcolm leaving, they always say he defected from the nation. Well, well, whenever you use the term defect in manufacturing, that's whenever some product has gone bad. Mm -hmm. Whenever a product goes bad, they don't stop production. They go back, make some tweaks. And produce a new and better. You don't see a person drive a Nissan Maxima and crash the Nissan Maxima 
and they say, woe is me, the Nissan Maxima defected, we can't make no more cars. No, they figure out a way to make a new one and a better version of it. Mm -hmm. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad manufactured Malcolm X. And if he manufactured him and he defected, surely he has the ability to make another one, Mm -hmm. a newer one, that's better. And he made a newer one and a better one in the perfected representative of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason for him to do that. He gave an instruction. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad then, do not touch Malcolm. Do him no harm. We follow instructions with loyalty to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad then like we do to the minister now. Mm -hmm. So nobody would have ever done that from us. Interesting that whenever he was shot, two of the gunmen that they arrested, Thomas 15X Johnson and Norman 3X Butler. And then the only one that admitted to doing the shooting was a man named Thomas Hagen or Talmudge Hayer. I said, man, why come they put the X's on all of them, but then put the X on his? I went and started doing the research in the COINTELPRO. And that's another problem. We lazy learners. Mm -hmm. With a Google brain. Especially now, yeah. Yeah, we Google brained. We just look up stuff and living off sound bites. We don't go and dig. And so the slave master said yesterday, the best place to hide something from a nigga is to put it in a book. Yes, sir. And it still stands. So we haven't done no research. We just go, I seen the movie. Uh, uh, I, I, I heard. But hearsay in a movie is not actual fact. Historical document is. And when you look at it, you'll find that Thomas Hagen, the only one that admitted to pulling the trigger, said number one the two that you were talking about thomas 15x and 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 norman three they were not there at all i was there with somebody named lee or leon and i was there with another one named will and i was there with another person named ben who we had met in their homes prior to this move that we were making to assassinate malcolm x then he said i was not in the nation his mother said he wasn't in the nation his cousin said this is an affidavit inside of the uh, court documents. So, you know, we weren't, no, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit, some remixing been been going on. Mm-hmm. You know, and the streets, they say they stepped on it. <laughs> uh, they, went, they went to the store, a health food store, got some isotol and some B12 and some baking soda and, and <laughs> fattened it up and re-rocked it and sold it to us like it was pure. Mm-hmm. This is not the truth. They don't they don't ever reach out, because I know they have the, the documentary coming on Netflix, Who Killed Michael Mack, I think it's coming out in January. They don't ever reach out to the, the nation for comment or that's too much like right yeah that's too much like right and i would have hoped especially with this godfather of harlem that they could have reached out to us you know i every time hollywood portrays us we we walking around with suits on that's eight sizes too big <laughs> funny haircuts steak and shake bow ties <laughs> they have malcolm on there walking with his shoulders all slumped over hands in his pocket we don't we, you, stand up straight. No, we don't believe yeah. in that. Hands in your pockets are a mark of laziness. The code of a FOI is quick thinking, fast moving, clean inside and out, right down to the modern time. They had in the in the movie they had that we were getting people off of drugs by chaining them to beds. We've never got nobody clean in the nation by chaining somebody to a bed. We get you clean by putting knowledge in your head. Mm. That's the transformative power. But but they always find a way to undermine. Uh, uh, what we've done so I would challenge the listening audience to not be a lazy learner mm. do some research dig get to COINTEL Pro facts go study J. Edgar Hoover's counterintelligence program read the ones that document that they celebrated the assassination of Malcolm X read the documents that tell you that Gene Roberts Malcolm X's head of security was in fact an NYPD officer and an FBI agent who talked Malcolm X out of having a search procedure that day at the Audubon Ballroom and told all the guards to bring no weapons. And when Malcolm got shot, Gene Roberts came and gave the man mouth to mouth. You don't give a gunshot victim mouth to mouth. You cover the womb so that no air can get in. Mouth to mouth. He wasn't trying to save him. He was trying to make sure that he died. Mm. Did you know Malcolm X was trying to come back into the nation before he died? No. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told him, well, if you want to come back, you have to put out some of the fires that you've started. Who knows? That day at the Audubon Ballroom, Malcolm might have been standing on that roster and prepared to put out the fires. But before he can put them out, somebody opened fire on him. Mm. Not the nation. We didn't kill Malcolm X. The same people 
that bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. Yes, sir. The same people that broke the Garvey movement. That killed Martin the Luther same King people Jr. that put the Tuskegee experiment to kill Dr. King. These are the, it's the same government that assassinated Malcolm X. And the way of the devil is throw the rock, hide Not your man. hand. And in this case, they didn't just throw the rock and hide their hand, but they actually threw the rock, hid their hand, and then blamed the throwing of the rock on somebody else, and it's us. Mm. But we didn't throw that rock. We didn't kill Malcolm X. Not the FOI. The FBI killed so, Malcolm X. What do you think about 